A modal auxiliary is a kind of helping verb, and it's a very specific kind of helping verb. It's a helping verb that's often said to express the mood of the verb phrase. Although mood is in some ways not the best word to describe this, uh, because a lot of these modal auxiliaries, they really express a kind of condition or possibility. And sometimes it's better to say that a modal auxiliary expresses the mode or the manner uh, of a particular verb phrase. But we'll use this word mood because it does seem to work for a lot of people and it seems to be kind of similar to modal, uh, so maybe that's, that's a little bit easier. Let's see how these modal auxiliaries uh, that we have here function in different sentences. Well, actually, we'll just look at one sentence here. Let's say you want to say, I something, we'll stick our modal auxiliary in here, I something kiss her. And you can change the gender as you like. So if you were to say can, for instance, I can kiss her, then pro uh, presumably you would be expressing some kind of ability. Maybe you're boasting about your ability to kiss somebody. <laughs> I'm not sure why you would, but you could say I can kiss her. Uh, but can can also mean permission here. So this can also mean permission. If you say I can kiss her, right? She gave me permission. Hooray! <laughs> then can can express uh, permission. Could, on the other hand, uh, tends to express more the possibility of something. I could kiss her. Okay, so the possibility of something. Uh, but it might even express something like surprise or excitement. I could kiss her. You know, that, you know this is so exciting. Uh, maybe it expresses something more like that. And what you can see then already is that modal auxiliaries are very much dependent on the kind of inflection, uh, the tone of your voice, uh, the context, and that's what makes them hard for speakers of, of English who are not native to the language. Uh, so, you know, these are difficult sometimes, uh, especially to figure out what the mood exactly is. But in this video, we, we really just want you to be able to recognize them in a sentence so that you can say, oh yeah, that's a modal auxiliary. May and might tend to express uh, possibility. Okay, so possibility. There we go. Uh, I may kiss her. But again, uh, also permission here. So if you say I, I may, then she may have given you permission to do that. Or maybe somebody else did. Maybe her father did. Although it really should be left up to her, shouldn't it? Okay, so we have possibility and permission. Uh, might tends to possibility much more. Then we have must and ought. And these have to do with obligation. So obligation. Okay, I must kiss her. Uh, I'm not sure in what context you would use that, but that is a, a possibility, I suppose. Should has to do with a kind of uh, condition or, again, a kind of obligation. So should is a condition or an obligation. I should kiss her. Could be that you, you feel obliged to do so. Uh, but it's also a, a condition, a kind of hypothetical situation. And would fits into this category, too. It's also more conditional. I would kiss her, but... right. Her breath sinks, or, you know, I'm too shy, or who knows what. Then we have shall and will, and these indicate intention, intention, and probability most often. So if you say, I will kiss her, you know, maybe you're intending to do this in the future, uh, then, you can ex then you can use these modal auxiliaries in this spot here. As you can see then, our regular verb doesn't actually change, but we have used all kinds of different modal auxiliaries to change the mood, the mode, the manner of this, this sentence, of this expression. Uh, and that's why these modal auxiliaries are so handy. So just to summarize then, modal auxiliaries, they change the mood, they affect the manner uh, of the verb. And as you can see here, they don't actually change their form. They will stay the same no matter what the tense. Uh, so, you know, the difficulty is not in spotting them so much, but as, as it is really in trying to figure out what kind of mood they express.